Well, uh, nobody uh, in the former palace uh, had any idea what he was talking about whatsoever. But look, the guy's 92. He's mumbling. You get Alzheimer's in Azerbaijan. They, they're kind to elders. They show them around. Oh, there's a glass case with uh, the dentures of Sultan, of the Sultan. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they buy him a return ticket to Mazar Sharif. Oh. Yeah, well, from there, um, he makes his way back to Persia by long distance buses. You know, or Kabul, Kandahar, Herat, Meshed, Tehran, you know, and so on. Mm -hmm. Oh, he made a, uh, then when he got to Gazvin on outside of Tehran, he went north to the Rock of Alamut to pay his respects to the um, tomb of uh, Hashishan himself, the original old man of the mountain, assassins, crusader slayers, knife assassins. Brainwashed on hashish, they did that really good in the pleasure garden. And you know, just read the book, The Hippie History of Hashish. It's all about that. Hippie History of Hashish, you got a smartphone? Just say it into your phone. You don't have to use your fingers, they're too fat anyway. Sploosh all over that. Keep it, just say it. And Amazon will mail you a book right to your door. Don't be a cheapskate. You know, put a crowbar in your goddamn wallet and buy a book once in a while and smarty up your trip. Well, yeah, those badlands of Mazandaran getting up to the ruins of the rock. Yeah, up and over Elbers Mountains, Suleiman Mountain. I mean, Solomon Mountain. Jungle infested, malaria all through there. On that back road up to the Caspian Sea, we're talking Karamabad, Rasht, Babul. Gorgon, Ugh. Caspian Sea coast, huh? Oh yeah, it's a lot of fun up there. Huh? Well, he's figured, you know, he's 92. Maybe I should do something for myself for a change. I've been pressing hashish for all these, well, who's ever got me captured at the time. Um, so he enters Turkey. Well, he's never been there before. Um, it didn't really exist, you know, until Ataturk kicked the Greeks out in 1923. You know. So, okay. Oh, Turkey. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, and he wanders along the Crescent River. It's so curvaceous. And, you know, just follow the river. Where does it go into? Cappadocia. Oh, he could not believe he, he 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 didn't die, and he and he went to heaven. The biggest thrashing sandbox in the world. Oh yeah, all those colors, all those fairy chimneys, turrets, crags, fairy chimneys, uh, spires. Uh, uh. Yeah, he aspired to. Uh, he just immediately threw himself in the dust. He never had such enlightenment, samadhi attack, freak out, ecstasy. And he thrashed for two whole days. Yeah, well, no kush berries in Turkey. Bite his arm, bleeding all over himself. Oh, sun scorched. Yeah, it was down to about 110 pounds. Uh, you know, 50 kilos, that's all that was left of him. All that wandering. You know, and old people shrink. <laughs> I've lost a couple of in inches. Um, yeah, first sight, all oh, the dustiest moonscape on earth. Uh, copious tears, bleeding all over himself in joy. Oh, and his agitated bladder couldn't cork the excitement. So, oops, a little wet splish there. Uh, yeah, and oh, you know the Cappadocians, they're gentle. They're not warriors like the Seljuk Turks the hillbilly Hittites, the rapacious Romans, the self-conceited centurions, the bummed-out Bathenians. You heard of the um, slippery Sardinians and the tuna Phoenicians. All those creeps, really. 
uh, their trips stunk. So, but the, the Cappadocians, he have a glass of our brimstone wine at sunset. You know the colors, umber, oh, you pastel colors, oh. Well, uh, well, first of all, they found a bed of straw for him, and uh, they said, "Look, Omar, oh, we have." Red Kush berries here. I mean, Oma couldn't see shit at this time anyway. The cataracts were just, it was like, a, so they, they convinced him. This is the Turkish variety of the red Kush berries. Really, it was mulberries. Uh, um, he <laughs> couldn't see shit. Okay, so yeah, they got him happy on that. And uh, they got him to stop biting himself. It's a hard habit to break. Remember how long you sucked your thumb after your mother took a tit out of your mouth? We're talking a hard habit to break. Well, and so compassionate. Oh, They gave them uh, a lifetime free pass to their hammam. So after every Kushberry slopped up red mush attack, he could wash up and you know slowly heal all the scars and bites on his arm. Oh, yeah, and then forever after, uh, yeah, final years in magnificent Cappadocia. Omar wandered from fairy chimney to fairy chimney. Oh, marveling, infinite colors. Oh, shapes. Oh, patterns of Gnostic dust. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, Sphinx uh, is wrapping up the story here, and he says, look, my father, Tutankhamen, big shot ambassador, uh, uh, Egyptian ambassador to Turkey, yeah, we were blessed to hang out with Omar one-on-one -on -one in absolute privacy. Yeah. Well, and gradually, kind of unfortunately, Omar's, he became famous. He didn't really want you know, everybody follow him around, got on his nerves, but his the awesome life story, saxophone on the West Coast, gourmet cook at the Hotel de Maris, worked for the Toothless, worked for the Con. Um, yeah, his secret expertise was sought after, if you can imagine, by all the hashish aficionados and their girlfriend aficionadas. I mean, it's a badass hashish hunting chicks back in the day. Yeah, all from the from the all from the seven seas. They came in looking for the guy. The seven seas. What? Dripping off the four corners of the earth. Oh well. All this attention, admiration when you don't want it. We're talking stock and marijuana stocks here. It freaks Omar right out. What's he going to do? Hide in a fairy chimney? 